All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the I'm at it YouTube channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. If you're a member of the channel, massive respect to you a lot and how to become a member. Um, please do check the join button if it's available to you, and YouTube will help you along the way. As you saw by the title, Damari Gray dominates um, CONCACAF. JFF and the coaching system in limbo for the reggae girls. And also, what's next um, in algorithm system? But that is connected to Damara, I agree, as well. And go back from when he just came in as to now and how we could fix it. Because I've reached out to a few persons that are very much versed on football and in the coaching scene. And they have given me some tips as well and i wanted to share it with you guys so we wanted to do all of those things but we're going to stay, start from the articles first just to give people their um flowers and then we get into the discussion you know the the, the road streams are naturally a hour to a hour and a half max based on the time that i do get to my spot all right so let me start by blessing the people um first in the building and after an hour or maybe after 30 minutes or so uh, when if I'm done with the, the information, I will drop the link and people can come on and have that discussion as well. Blessings, uh, Sheridan. Massive respect. Property for sale says, indeed, he has been in been and in such, such a short period of time. Really has made his presence felt. All right. Well, Kankakov definitely showing that. Um, Father Bling, how you doing, man? Um, Omar Fowling, massive respect. The dear ones always here in a man. All right. Dean Fraser, big up yourself. So, people, find the like button. And I love the way you guys are treating the show from the other days. It, it doesn't matter what happened. You guys are putting the likes on the video. So, massive, massive respect um, for that. All right. Uh, oh, blessed day, JD. Your day started long time. Yes, man. My day is going back to my house now. <laughs> Yeah, you guys just getting up, but I totally understand. Um, Sadna, how you doing, man? Hope all is well. As well, Rasta Gill, always supporting the thing. Massive respect. Derek G and Johan as well in the billing RR, top of the morning. All right, so let me start with Damari, Damari Gray. All right, so you knew you knew that um, the, the CONCACAF League a and the B group stage has been actually finished. They did they did um week windows by windows, all right? Windows by windows um assessment. All right, yes. And since Damara Gray came in, he has been the most consistent player in the actual tournament with Kari Skeela, in the actual two tournaments with Kari Skeela on the listing. All right, so he was the most consistent forward player because Kari Skeela is a midfielder. All right, yes, but a forward player, he has been the most consistent player out of all teams in the entire two competitions, the Gold Cup and also um, the Nations League. So that is a big feat for Damar Gray. So they said Mal Maldonado, um, Kari Skeela and Gray headlines lead a best eleven. All right, so they go through the best 11 right here. Let me give you it fast. You have um, Clementia, Jones from Trinidad, Maldonado, that was mentioned, um, Riveres, um, Mighty Abena from Suriname, Carisquila, Moore from Trinidad, and um, Palma, Damari Gray, Janga um, from Curaçao, and Basinas to make the final week four listing. All right, Damari Gray was on boat. All right, yes. So they gave the reasons why they have picked these guys. Um, they said um, Clementia was the only goalkeeper to register back-to-back -back clean sheets in the window as he made six saves and three clearances in two games for Les Martin Tino. Martin, Martin Nino. All right, that is our Martinique. All right, so defenders... Leo Abena, which is mighty Abena, Abena did the job at both ends. He scored in the 4 0 victory uh, versus Grenada and ha had five steals 
and six clearances over uh, the two games. So Suriname defenders getting um, on the list. So that is a good sign because we know Suriname for more of the attacking sense. And obviously, you know, from your side, the defensive side, you tend to will do better. All right. Rivieres, Rivieres was another reason why Martinique did not concede a goal during the window in their two matches. He had a draw drop in 14 clearances on top of four steals. All right. Maldonado, um, that heads the line, says Honduras were desperate for an early goal to quell any nerves in the final um, game against Cuba. And Maldonado came through with a score in in the early going. He also had a steal, two clearances, and compete, completed 94% of his passes. So Maldonado, big ups to you. You're doing your job. Alvin Jones, Trinidad and Tobago. All right? You know the style that they do play with, and they're going to always be under heavy pressure. So they say Jones, Jones had has been excellent for the Soka Warrior. Warriors in helping them finish in the top two in Group A as he added another goal to his tally and made seven clearances. So that's why they made uh, they made that listing coming from the defensive side. So let me know if you agree with all the personnel. If not, let me know who you would add in it as well. Before we go to the midfielders, let me big up everyone coming in. Brian Burke, upon the ends. Um, RR said, Gray, Gray moves the needle, move the football needle. Uh, what a player. Jason Guna, bless up to you. Bessas documentary, massive respect. DNA in the building. Um, Tajay says, Damar Gray, a top level striker. We have not reached him as yet. We are going to get there. Don't worry yourself. All right. So in midfield now, um, I know Trevi said, how oh, can he be so good? And he's in the MLS or whatever Trevi said. But that's how players get, get get gets discovered. They have to do their jobs. And sometimes people want to make sure you do your job on a consistent basis for them to take an, a chance on you. All right? Yes, because the levels between the MLS and the world and, and the Premier League is not close. So people have to make sure you can do it under every condition and make sure you reach the metrics that they do want. So that would be the answer for Travis there asking why Karis Keeler can be getting every week the best player um, in our region, but yet still can't make one of those high-level teams. Well, I think he's making his name now and you will see him overseas very, very soon. All right. Yes, um, Tom, big of yourself. Um, S Technic, big of yourself. And the man who has come in, just smash the like button so we get the visibility out there very fast. Art of love, massive respect. Always respect when you check in because I know that you're busy, but still found the time to check in. Curry Skeeler continues to show why he's one of the best players in the CONCACAF region. He had the opening goal in the 3-0 win versus Guatemala and completed 87% of his passes during the window. So they have moved him up, not just the best midfielder, but one of the best players, period, in the region. Would you agree with that, that he's one of the best players in the region? With all of the teams that are having their best squads, I think he's putting himself in that bracket, you know, with all of the teams that have their best squads. It's hard to say that he's one of the best players because I don't think he would make the top 10 out of best players. But for positions, I think he would make the top 10 best midfielders in the region with all teams have all of their best players. I don't think he would be the number one midfielder, but he would be one of the top 10 best midfielders in the region and that would say a lot because he is he is playing in our region as well so um big ups to him big ups to him um definitely a talent definitely a talent all right demario mccallum says agree so agree that he's one of our best players Mar marvin massive massive respect people give me a little chance let me share the video so we can get the people here because as you know i am not going to be staying the entire day um on the program so we have to make sure people um gets the content all right yes so let me take it out once one 
around 15 more seconds and we are done 21 likes on the video guys um in that time take the time to smash the like button so we can move on to um oh, like we can continue our program all right yes man so just keep on um putting it up there that we still aim for the 200 today even if it's a shortened video yeah man let me keep on doing it because you guys putting the content out there making um the early morning crack what the best program on youtube period all right so that is that is great from you guys massive massive respect for that all right so let me move on to the others um rayon moore trinidad and tobago more seemingly covered every blade of grass for trinidad and tobago scoring two goals and completed 91 percent of his passes so big up story and more in a team that is tough to stand out so you're doing exceptionally well luis palma honduras Palma kept opposite, opposing defenders on their toes with a team leading 11 shots during the two games. He had also had an assist in the decisive 4 0 win against Cuba. All right. And then now we go in the forward line. The forward line. Um, Bassinas, Bassinas definitely not showing his age or anything. He keeps on putting in good performances. So maybe he could be one to extend his stay in the Panamanian team. So they said Bassinas um, delivered um, the opening goal for uh, Panama in their 2-1 win at Curaçao and added an assist and three steals for good measure in the um, Canaleras two matches. All right. And then Janga turned up in the, the final game i know curacao would love for would have loved for him to turn up in all four games because more likely curacao would have been qualified all right janga was super b for curacao in october as he encountered um for three encountered are uh, encountered for for three of the team's six goals included a brace in the 5-3 victory over trinidad and tobago he also he also completed 100% of his passes. All right. So that is for Curaçao. So a Curaçao personnel made it on the list. And then our boy, Damari Gray. Um, Dre, big up yourself. Massive, massive respect, says Dre. Says, in for Kingpin. Yeah, man, we were dead. People need to start giving us our respect, you know, because we call the games them spot on two, three days, you know. Um, out, you know, and then it turns out the exact way. All right. Drew Ross, massive respect. Um, thanks for being here as well. Um, Triple E, massive respect as well. All right. Yeah, man. Um, so Damari Gray, they said Gray showed, showed his class in Jamaica's two victories, scoring a goal in each game from five shots and completed 80 nine percent of his passes all right yes so they put them i agree back on it and i do believe that he deserves to be on it based on what i've checked what all of the the forward line did all right he was definitely one of the standout forwards and deserved to be with the play one of the players of the window and for the last window he was one of the players just the same so if he keeps on making all of these things he's going to desperately be jamaica's main player and with jamaica's main player we have to start look out as to what system the coach does you do use. All right. And remember when he just came in, remember when he just came in, uh, the coach just came in. He was he, he was trying to balance out the squad because he knows that in, in Jamaica's history, since they qualified for World Cup, it was always a power struggle. And the only thing that clears power struggle is players power into playing on the field. And he is one of the best for Jamaica. So maybe if you're looking for that person, that talismatic figure to create um, in the center of the park, maybe at first he never wanted to put him there. And he puts Liam Bailey there. But Liam Bailey looks better playing out wide. I think maybe that is where the Barry Gray position might be later, a central forward role. And later in the show, I will explain something which... um what i've heard from a direct a coach that has the toughest badge in the world because i i, I explained the situation with jamaica showed him a, a few stats and everything and he gave me some some information most people might not like it but i think i have learned a few things that that when it comes to pass we should not be surprised so i i'm going to share it with you i'm going to share it with you 
but just hold on. Let me go through the, the, the inform, information throughout the day first. All right? Yes, and then we go to what the coach tell, told me um, about the co our coach's system. All right? So, massive respect, everybody coming in. Um, Mr. United, Tennessee, big up, big up, big up. Um, thanks um, for being here. Yeah, man. So, let me move on to the limbo side. So, yesterday's news, we have two. We have two. We have two uh, articles on the reggae girls. Remember, the reggae girls have a tournament coming up in pretty much maybe a week or so. A little bit over a week. I will get the information right here. Yes, but soon. Very, very soon. Uh, we have an next game coming, but we don't have a coach because they moved on from the coach. Uh, we already said it was not uh, it, it was not not good enough uh, what they did and this maybe solidified what we were saying all right oh my god the man the man <laughs> anyways let me continue because people people bashing me you know he, I, it, it doesn't matter what I've done. Uh, what I, uh, it's, they should have just looked to say, okay, this man is a fair man. When the credit is there to give the person, we they do give it to him. But when it's there to take the credit away, he's going to take the credit away. So he's a fair individual. <laughs> the man himself said me as a reality. So that means they want to say that I'm delusional before. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, let, 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 me, let me continue with the limbo side and then we'll come back to the reggae boys because one thing you know about Jamaica football, news never stops. All right, so they say coaching limbo. JFF yet to name new reggae girls head coach. All right, when the reggae girls set to play Panama in eight days time, so I was correct, in a week and something. And I think it drops down to seven now because this was yesterday's news. And I'm going to go to the next article. Uh, in eight days time, in the CONCACAF Gold Cup qualifiers, the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, is in a spot of bother to name a new head coach after they opted to renew, to opted not to renew the contract of Lauren Donaldson. Radio Jamaica uh, Sports understands that Englishman Jonathan Morgan is the front runner for the job, but words as, as no come that Morgan is under investigation by Sheffield United, the team he, he now coaches in the England Women's Super League. Wow. So that's where the limbo comes from. When Radio Jamaica Sports contacted JFF General Secretary that Dennis Strong, he admitted seeing the report and said due to diligence, um, he is taking place. Morgan has been absent from several games and has not been seen in the dugout since September. Chong said due to diligence um, is being done at the moment. All right. So uh, that so it's in limbo because the man that they are trying to target, they are saying that he's under investigation. Do you know anything about that player, that, that coach? Let me know. You think that that's the best way to go based on his style? Let me know because obviously you're going to re research before you return. Um, under the comment section. So please do so and, and fill me in. But I think, I think based off my research, based off my research, I'm going to go through the next, next article. Let me go through the next article before I, I do answer to anything. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to come to the comment section let me first. Let me finish the next article because I, I clearly saw Gmail's. <laughs> All right, so um, this is the next one. Time's up. This is today. This is today, people. All right, this is today's article, people. Time's up. Time done. After more than two weeks without a coach and with less than a week to go before Jamaica Reggae Girls play Panama in the first leg of their Women's Gold Cup qualification playoff tie, the Jamaican Football Federation, JFF, is expected to an announce Lauren Donaldson's replacement no later than today, said General Secretary Dennis Strong. Front runner for the job, Jonathan Gordon, um, coach of Sheffield United Women's in Women 
in the English Super League was expected to be announced on Monday. However, over the weekend, an investigation was opened into allegation of behavior, behavioral misconduct. Okay, so now they are getting into what it is, forcing Morgan to step away until those inf investigations are completed. Wow. Wow. So, so behavioral misconduct. We don't, that can mean, that, can, that is still broad, you know. That is still broad. That is still broad. But it's still behavioral misconduct and they are doing their investigation. Obviously, it is nowhere in the ballpark as to, as to um, how they were ridiculing um, the kid to come and play for Jamaica. That is completely different because um, that guy went to pr prison and got banned for a year or so. But it's still, it's still, come if you hire this person, it still comes down to only when you want something, you're going to go after it. So the Macy Greenwood, when they were saying that people in the JFF would not be okay with that. And, and people will go back and say, Mr. Busby, never proven guilty for nothing. And he couldn't get to come back as well. So it will, it will bring up a lot of questions if you go out for this person. But yet still you need someone because the time is running out. So does that mean you're going to have the advice uh, the, the, the one of the assistant coaches taking over in that time. All of that will have to come to fort. Let me know what say you guys. So those are all the information. We have other things to chop up, but yeah, we have to put it out there. Um, lights, light Stewart said, JD, look like you coming around to the reality that the little man on the left wing is an elite player in the CONCACAF region. His class doesn't only show up in the stats, but also in the eye tests. But I've never said anything else as well. So you're arguing with yourself. <laughs> Rockford, bless yourself. Thanks for being here. Triple E, Chris Smith, G Mills. Massive, massive respect. How you doing, man? JD, you told them that if Gray comes, he's going to be the best player. Yes, I had said that, but people never believed. So... Um, but remember, we had to see the system before we, we knew what to expect. So the system have a lot to do. Why Bill Gray turned out to be the best player on the field as well. All right. So we will get into that. Um, after we tell you Gray are the best in a CONCACAF, you are size up big baller with small fries. Oh, my God. One man who a $100 million baller is a small fry to Gray. Oh, and Gray is not a $200 million baller, but I will leave it alone. <laughs> the coach has been um, on suspension. Yes, Singh, we, we know that. But we wanted to bring the conversation back around. All right? I'm going to drop the link for you guys to come on. All right? So people can come on and say their piece. We're not going to stay on, on any one of the topics too long. Yes, so please do come on. And give your take on as to what oh you look at this. All right. Because I have to I have to be fair because we, we collect collected all of the information. So we have to present it back to you with more than one situations. All right. Um, they will want you and the D. They inform on you. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, Dean Fraser said, right, JD. Um, welcome to reality, JD. Okay, wow. All right. So I, I'm, I'm arguing people that never heard anything what I've said. <laughs> Up, Wayne Carney, how oh, you doing, man? People, smash the like button. 100 people here early. Massive, massive respect. Get it up. Get the likes up to 100 and let me keep on burning down the building. Maybe the guy just um, congratulate his player with a nice tap in the bumper. Could be... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, real baller? All right. We, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. Because, you know, if, if I respond to you, people, you know the, 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 ear, the era that we are in now. All right? Yes. So I have to be very careful as to, oh, I, oh, I adjust this. All right. So, the, um, Pastor, what you could do is, okay, Jason Mbuna join as well. So I'm, I'm going to just put it on the side, um, the layout on the side, because both of you guys join. All right, so good day, um, both guys. How are you doing? Um, hope all is well with both of you guys. Good morning to the family. Most things are okay, so I'm thanking God. 
All right, all right, all right. Um, Pastor, you can turn your phone sideways. Uh, yes, thank you very much. You're morning, Pastor. Exactly morning, that time. Uh, what is it, Jason? Just saying, morning. He said, Good morning. Okay, but we're not hearing him. He's very low, very low. And Pastor, I heard him clearly. I heard him clearly, though. <laughs> Uh, you, you heard him clearly. Yes, I did. Okay, but uh, we are hearing you very, very well. All right? Yes. Maybe too well. But um, <laughs> we want to hear you. So <laughs> before we get into the, the coach's um, style of play, because I finally, finally found a name for the style of play and how it actually come about. And um, I was educated by one of the best in the business as to what they think this coach is doing and, and what we should expect as well. But before we get into that, the two stories that we talked on, reggae girls in limbo with a coach, and how would you be, or would you digest that? Maybe that's the wrong word in the Jamaican language, but um, in English in the Jamaican language, which should be the preferred Jamaican language, how would you digest this individual um, being selected for the national team? Permission to do the Mari Grace first, since you, you yes, mentioned the two I, stories. I, I, I okay. The they do, what do they want? Yeah. All right. Um, we who discussed about the Mari Gray inclusion in the program were of the consensus that he would be what he has been when he got to Kankakov. So, him being in Team of the Week and showing what can be done even with other players in the same position or above other players in the same position. Um, that is not news to us. So all of that is just verification for what we would have expected or, or the, 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 the actual metrics would have shown that we would have gotten that from the Mara Gray once he turned up injury-free. And I don't think he, he has hit full flight yet, but we'll get, we'll get to that. So agreed with, I, I am in agreement with what you presented. Um, yes, that you are normally very credible and well-researched, but this, this is something that we had discussions on and had consensus because we are not looking beyond what the player output had suggested quality player and we just have to thank god that he decided to come home we expect others to do the same so that would be that on that subject for me when the jff forced vinblain on the female program the girls refused. One of the names that was floated was the Morgan family. And so the, the, the family of coaches would have come, but the JFF would not have gone with it the way it was presented because that, mean, that would have meant a change in the entire hierarchy of the JFF. Because the president of the JFF would also come from that family. So that was a name that was floated from that time. They wanted, they wanted to have him as their coach because they did not want to go to appease, for want of a better word, appease the girls or Sedella in, in requesting Lauren. But at the time, the coach was not as available as he would have been now years later or a year plus later. He's more available now because he would have had time to look at planning. So from that time, it is instructive. What I just said is that the JFF, when they succumbed or gave in to the girls' request for Lauren to be their coach. They had absolutely no intention 
from day one of Lawrence's contract to renew his contract. Because Morgan had shuffled things because the JFF intended the day Donald's contract ended to replace him with Morgan. But as is their customary practice, the JFF have a thought fly in their head. And without due process, they put it in action, exposing themselves to primary failures at greater level than if they had thought through and make con made contingency plans. They could not foresee that there would be an investigation, but that thought became their plan A to Z because they're getting back at the girls for having demanded Lauren Donaldson. Worst that Lauren came and demanded respect and regard for the girls that he coached. And I'm using girls only in the sense of the name that is ascribed to them. These are all matured adult professional females. So the JFF, again, being reactive, like underdeveloped children, being vindictive, like the villains that they are, has failed to properly market Jamaica as a brand, as a product that is not just international, but is worthwhile. For want of a better way to put it, the JFF has again cut off their own two feet because they have been fed by the female program for a few years now. It's the only thing they have to gloat about. And they have single-handedly damaged the program to the extent that another one of their plan will have to serve as a plan B. Because the reason they attach people like Gilbert to the program is so that they can say they do not have any other way or route to take. So Gilbert becomes the coach of the reggae girls team. The failed Xavier Gilbert is the same reason they keep attaching these Jamaican-born, underdeveloped, inexperienced, failing coaches to the program. Same thing with the male program where they, where they have Gordon. But I'll leave it right there so that Jason can interject Thank since you. both of us are sharing. Uh, before Jason goes, please, people, um, get it to the first hundred. As what we said, we have a donation link in the chat. Uh, in the description, please do use the donation link. You can use the super chat if you want for Good our money. actual work, consistent um, work as always. Yes, and to always... Uh, maintain the channel as well so definitely do that and uh, thanks all the person that actually donated over the time but the like button is always the best source of donation we have mikey larry in the house massive respect like mikey larry we saw that, that someone said um let me make sure i get this first so i can bring in jason after but these are important information Jenny says um don't when the dollars don't will take charge um for the panama game don't know if that is true but um all right, thanks for putting it out there so we can expect somebody to do something. All right, so go ahead, Jason, and then we can get into our next slide. JD, before before Jason went, there was a there was a section when I saw you talking, but I wasn't hearing anything. I don't know if that was an issue with the system. I, I, and I said I fixed it. I just fixed it. I fixed it. Go ahead. All right, yeah. So good morning, people. Respect. Remember, like up the video. Um, yeah, so we'll touch, since Pastor started with the, the girls, I want to just touch on that as well. Um, one of the things that is a bit surprising to me, or maybe surprising isn't the right word, but um, I'm taken aback by the fact that the, the person who the article is claiming is the number one candidate um, has issues going on currently and is under investigation. So 
um, I, from what I understand, that coach, he was on the short list when Donaldson was being hired. Is that correct, JD? Yes, yes, yes. Pastor just even said it as well. Yeah, man, he was on okay. it directly. So, so my 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 thing that I don't understand is um, if if they were aware that this guy could potentially be someone they would replace Donaldson with, um, you know, have they not been following his story at all? Or I, I'm confused because if if he's the front runner and we know that he has all of these things going on at the same time, you know, are, why are we still kind of even thinking about him at this no, juncture? It, but when they said when contacted, the, the, the um. The, it, it, Mr. The Gensek said that he just heard about it. So maybe it's not something from a long time. Maybe it's just something that just came up and he just heard about it as well. Maybe it could be from a long time, you know. So what we are, I am going to do, I'm going to investigate when this actually um, occurred and uh, was public so we can know if the JFF just not research nothing and then know nothing aside from just what they want. So give me the chance to do that, and then I can provide that information on the next stream or no. whenever I do get the, yeah, the information. Yeah, no, no problem. No problem. The reason I'm bringing that up is I, I thought the article had referenced that this is something that he has made him have to leave his club since last month. And based on what I remember, Lauren Donaldson, it's been a couple of months now since he's been there. So I'm just wondering, I mean... Even if they didn't know about it in the beginning, the fact that an investigation formally has been started and he has had to leave where he's employed, I'm not sure how they could have someone as a potential major candidate and they wouldn't know that news. So my, my thinking is, um, it, it, you know, when, when Donaldson left, I, I heard some people saying that, you know, because of the quick turnaround, it's going to be difficult for the JFF to secure an international coach in such a short time. And mm -hmm. I remember saying that, um, you know, the JFF, their contingency plan in the past when these things occur is to just promote the local guy that's been in the team. So I, I just want to let everyone know that Xavier Gilbert, more than likely, will be running out this team next week because I don't see how they could get any other coach in in this short amount of time that could work with the players, that could know who to call, you know, all of those things. So everything um, lends itself to, to me thinking that Xavier Gilbert will be coaching the team against Panama and um, and uh, who is it against Guatemala. And based off, based off that, because we want to get into the next part of the program, which I know a lot of people want to hear, and which is the system of the play from the coach yes. and everything. But based off that, yes. you think that we, 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 we could see a boycott of the program because remember these girls requested this guy this guy you know right first and yes. um maybe they maybe they believe that they weren't treated fair as well so and and not given the best chance because that's exactly what they said before the canada game and this now yes. happened and they have to go into more games so w could you see a possible boycott i'm talking everyone you know inside the chat and on the platform platform what what you think about that because i believe that I, I we will see some player not turning up you know and it's not because they weren't picked it's because they decided that they're not coming because they can't see a clear pathway and they don't want to come and injure themselves and obviously they might not be getting their pay on time and all sorts of things so they don't see the need to go here and i yeah, would not say yeah go ahead no i was just gonna say it's definitely always a possibility i think especially on the girl side because we, you saw the stance that they have taken before that a lot of people in the Jamaican public disagreed with when they wrote the letter and kind of made their demands and everything. So I wouldn't put it past them to do something unorthodox to get a result out of the JFF. Uh, but I, I do think that um, it's going to be pretty much dependent on how Sedella feels it should go. I think the girls always consult with her and any decision that they make I think she's a part of it. So, you know, I, I don't know how they want to play. I think, f for me, I, I think Sedella has done a good job in the past of regardless of what's going on, the girls still end up on the pitch. So I don't know if this is the last straw that will break them to say, okay, we're really going to show them this time that we're not going to turn up and see if they can win the games. Um, but, but I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure exactly. I, I think it's a possibility, but I'll put it at a low possibility. Jason. It probably will still turn up. If I may. Go ahead, you man. see, nothing orthodox is going to work against the JFF. No orthodox or what you'd call traditional methods will work against a JFF that has normalized inconsistency and poor performance and unproductivity as well as unprofessionalism. No normal tactics can work against that kind of a regime. The reality is, notice the treatment of Lauren Donaldson especially to the end of the, the, the contract year, the contract period, the girls got nothing that they earned on time. They got no support that they required to perform at their optimum because the JFF is always fighting against a Sidella Marley-led program. And that's the bottom line. So because they cannot come aside from their egos to be operating professionally, they have, by virtue of so doing, been the own dagger in the program. It is the JFS failing why the girls have to resort to these what you would call unconventional tactics to get the required results. The reality of it is, you know, this shows up that the JFF was totally against Lauren Donaldson's selection for the program because from day one, this was their only contingency. Along with the fact that they have pinned people like Marion Gar Gordon to the male program and Xavier Gilbert, two coaches that has failed at the national level, in, uh, on the international stage for Jamaica despite the age group, or gender that they have coached. They are failures, but they are the ones attached to the program because this is the JFF on the fail safe. We don't get what we want, then we'll put another local coach in. We'll just do that as cover. And that is the only thing they know. They, are, they, are, they are, have normalized unprofessionalism to the point where they don't care about the product, which is the girls on the field. So for the girls to even make requests it's going to be met with opposition and then they have to go into the mo mode where they're making demands and once you start making demands in an organization you're going to be met with antagonism which is where it has reached now they had to demand a different coach than vin blaine the jff just okay agree with it but we want to ensure so you cannot get this quote for longer than this period so they put in, in place who they want to go back, to get back at the girls. But this is what happens when God don't like ugly. So the girls, again, will have to now make demands as professional. Because Xavier Gilbert is nowhere at the level that these ladies are coming from to play. He does not have that acumen to, to coach them. He's not there. And no amount of metrics can they find to say otherwise. Vin Blaine was not there, who is twice Xavier Gilbert. He's not there. All right. So um, Singh says that the other issue is that club clubs have to be given notice to release players. Has a good squad been selected? We don't know. Um, we saw them posted something about the games and stuff on JFF, the JFF website, but I, I don't see any um, um, normal provisional list uh, released or nothing. I will check upon it later to see if they do release something because sometimes when we do our shows, the good thing about these powerful shows, it keeps people on their toes. Right, all organizations, CONCACAF, Jamaica, and Suriname, Canada, because this it might see same program fix Suriname as well. So it tells you, how powerful these programs are, you know. So it's you now we highlight it. It might just be out there. Um, nothing has been selected, so maybe that can be a, a problematic situation um, as well. 
All right. So I wanted to go into my next segment of um, the style of play of the coach and based on the style of play of the coach, um, why people being selected because the, the, Players has to be selected based on the style of play. So I wanted to explain what a person that has the highest badges in the world, coach teams, big teams in the world, explained to me. All right. Um, I don't have. I don't have. Yeah. Um. So go ahead, Juras. Go ahead, Juras. No man, do your thing, man. Um. No, just thing. go, go ahead come because I get a phone. Neil, Neil, me dey panel, me dey panel live streaming. You know? Okay. No. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't, I can't get the call. The only thing you can do is come on the, the, the link, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, man, tell us see that, tell us see that call. Oh, okay. So go ahead, and I will get into right. my, get to my point after. Bless up, JD, Pastor, um, Jason. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is really laughable, and a lot of the points that Pastor made, I agree with them a hundred percent. Also, the points that Jason made, I. I <laughs> You can't disagree with it, man. Um, it's like it all goes back to say that um, Pastor says something is like JF, JFF, them, them plan from A to Z. Them don't have no bucketive or no B or C plan. You understand what I'm saying? If, if they knew that this coach or, for example, you may not have known that this coach, you know, might have been in this issue, but have a backup plan. You understand what I'm saying? And a reasonable backup plan to say that, okay, Gilbert will not, it's not going to fall back to somebody that don't have the the um, the standard to, you know, take the team to the next level or is a little bit above Danielson. It's just, um, it's embarrassing for said man. And, and it doesn't matter what. And that's why when a lot of people um, beat them, you can't really say, something, say nothing. Sometimes they feel sorry for them. Me personally feel sorry for them sometimes. But in cases like this, man, it's, it's a lack of planning and a, lot, a lack of organization. It's like, okay, as Pastor said, all right, them, them plan this thing to get back to the girls and show that, listen, we are the ones in charge, which if that's the stance they want to take, I could understand that because it's, it, it is the footballing organization of Jamaica. So if they want to say, listen, certain things, we're going to be the ones to select and we're going to stand by that. I understand that to a certain level. But when it comes to things like this, if the if these girls do boycott this um, thing or a lot of them decide not to come, let's, let's um, put it in a politically correct way. They decide not to come for personal reasons, whatever. You can't fault them because this is lack of planning. So we'll see. That's all I have to say for now. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. People, we have 116 those. Please do smash the like button, share, and subscribe. Um, oh, um, S Technic disagreed with Pastor's situation. Others on the panel agreed, and I agreed as well. Um, Pagan says, uh, is that the coach's criteria for selection of the players? Uh, yes, it should be the coach's criteria. Uh, coach's, um, duty to select his players then because if what how can a federation select the sabaga player then the coach come in unless that means the coach will not take charge of that game because you're giving him what uh what you want uh out of the pool to select from which that that incredible diminished um Oh, oh, he can pull it, get his job done. And this is exactly where we are leading to in the men's part as well. Because once you know how the system works, then you know why the selection of certain players um, in, in the team. All right. So um, aside from that, massive respect, Pagan, for that. All right. So um, the style that the coach is using is... All right. So Tennessee, come on. Get on Tennessee. All right, so the style the coach is playing, um, guys, is a wing play system. Wing play, that is the system. All systems, all systems, all systems can be tweaked by a coach because obviously you know the, the fundamentals of the actual system. Then you tweak it to make your system different from a natural wing play. So you, you start from a head base and they work down. The wing play consists of always the creativity comes from the winger. Because nowadays we're in 2023. 2023 is the dying era, is the dying era of actual um, central attacking midfielders. So that's why you have central forward different from striker nowadays. People that can press 
forward and press to lead the line rather than a defensive coverage. You understand me? Yes. So for people that's that's worried, worried why you don't see like attack, the attacking midfielders them like Maggie them getting in the game. They only comes in tiki taka and technical systems. And it's real teams nowadays choose to have the technical systems. I'm just giving you directly what I've gotten from the coach as well, which is one people that I've conversed with, you know, and, and I've showed them the situation and um, that's what they came up with. So it's the wing play system, what he's using. So his creativity, what we were asking for, will never be coming from any attacking midfielder. It will always be coming from Leon Bailey and also Damara Gray. And the, the link, wing, wing play, it starts from a trigger. So a trigger is your forward. So anytime you see Shamar Nicholson playing, he's the first one pressing. And he's what, going to be the one to link plays as well. Or, and then it's going to come from your wide players then. So your central midfielders has to be box to box or deep line defensive midfielders. So you see where it's coming from now? So you have to have the capability to create from there. So with all of that said now, you realize when he started with Mexico in the 2 2 game, he started with two attacking midfielders, try to see if he can get creativity from that. He realized that it does not, they do not possess the defensive capabilities. Hence why he moved away from them completely. And he, he decided that, listen to me, I'm going to get the creativity um, from, from, from the creativity from directly out on the wing and just make sure I have the solidity of defensive when we have the high line um, flat out right there. So when we have the two, we have a better responsibility, uh, no, a better possibility to cut off those splitting passes because they are natural defenders. Hence why he goes for two defensive midfielders and never tried to use any um, attacking centric players because he does um, use Liam Bailey as a central forward, not a natural um, forward to additional press, but as a central forward as a winger to add more creativity. So that's how you get the Bobby Reed, Liam Bailey, and also Damira Gray as the three persons on it. So two wing plays and one less striker that can add creativity directly as a decoy um, at, um, attacking midfielder um, hybrid type player. So that's the system that he's trying to initiate. So with that said, you de decide how you want to pick the team from there. And I think that's how we're going to get it in the future. So this technical play from Central, we're not going to get it so much unless we get a box-to-box -box that has the ability to do so in his system. And click me from here, you know, because I'm telling you, for the whole time you see this coach, because as the man said, coaches does not naturally change from their plan unless they do their their pool get drastically diminished and our pool ain't dying out because we don't have old players we have young players so i don't think he's going to change from that because majority of our players are fast and strong fast and strong so believe me this system ain't changing all right, it, it might go improved because maybe we'll find that box to box energetic midfielder that can um, possess the ball as well and it improves. So it, it would look better like the Nigeria one. But the overall tiki taka playing midfield that ain't happening for Jamaica, none at all. So take it out of your mind. Uh, go ahead, guys. All right, JD, I'm starting it this way. Pastor, Pastor, oh, 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 you end up start everything. So, one to Tennessee. Tennessee, you just. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just re realized that Tennessee came on and hasn't said anything. Re just before you say it. Uh, yes. Tennessee, you should shoot. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, why do you want to go first? <laughs> My father say a hog seed, no more always their back. I am not a hog seed. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, go ahead, Tennessee. And then we yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. everybody except that pastor, pastor last, because yeah. he went first for, for two of the conversations. So, <laughs> okay. go ahead, Tennessee. It looks like when pastor used to run, we used to young guy used to run the OJ meter, man. We can really fast. <laughs> <laughs> big up my tell pastor. I'm big up Jason. And I need that person. You know, I don't know who that person is. But, um, dear, you know, I have no problem. Because our best players are winners. Talk about but if you put Maggie them nineteen, 
Yo, so I'm going to put Maggie in my team to appease a certain part of the public. You understand? Yeah. You know, put but... them in my team to then do the work where you want them to do. You understand? So but... I know a problem with the system where coach are playing. <coughs> as we well say, maybe at some point we will get a box to box player. We have that kind of ability. We can do both things. You understand? But for right now, the strongest players are wingers. And if you look back, who the match I get to come in? I see him position the more play. You understand? Thank you very much. So I mean, I have no problem with the system where coach are playing. And you know everything takes time. And sometimes I think people don't really have no patience to wait for because people just want to see what they want to see. You understand? We see our next team I play something. So we want Jamaica to play the same thing. Jamaica maybe not the players if you play a certain system. You understand? So the coach have to play. When have the strongest player them get a play? But maybe just want to say something about the land and thing, JJB. Just play on me. Me I said to myself, say, me can understand JJB. Me you talk about the ego all the time. And I think that the ego, why them rush to figure, don't renew the man time chat without mm, make sure. Because JJB, if you ever do something like this, you see? And you claim to say, because I remember, you know, you know, really, man can't chat. A man do a good job so far. Yeah, in that, like, him a feel. So, if you're going to do something like this, you would make sure, say, you have something line up, pattern, that means nobody can blame you for anything at all. And I feel like it's because I know JB a good bird personally. Can come from the same community when me come from. But JB, if him take this job, he may just fool. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they put themselves in a box. Sometimes I try to defend them, you know. I try to say, well, you know, JD is not this and that. But JD, they put themselves in a box and they end up looking like a fool right now. If they're not getting a good coach, to replace the coach. And, and, and to the time period, I don't think they can get anybody. So I'm more thinking they must shift towards Xavier Gilbert. And I, I'm not, I, I won't be surprised if some of them don't turn up. You understand? Mm hmm. And you can blame them, you have to blame the man, them full of ego, with just a rush to go do things. Because you do things to make it look like you in control of everything. We don't know in control, we don't in control and nothing. You don't have the money. Yeah, 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 that's 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 to make people look Tennessee, Tennessee, repeat what you just said earlier. The mic went off and I didn't hear anything at all, yourself for about five seconds or so. No, I was saying it's like a man we don't have no money and he go out and borrow an expensive shoes because he want people to spend their money. So I think the ego of them people are kill the woman for program. Instead of them just relax and make a program run, they might have to force themselves in night. I don't know if they want people to say, I, them, I do it. Yeah, yeah, you understand? But the ego so, 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 Tennessee, Tennessee, how much the forcing depending, depending on, on the, the significant rise in, 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 in the revenues of ladies' football? Because yes. ladies' football have, have risen um, over 15 mm -hmm. times in the last one year. Mm -hmm. So, I so think, yes. They think of the, of the money, because remember, you know, they got 1 million US dollars, you know. Just for mm -hmm. infrastructure, you know, from for the girls them separate, you know, before it start to rise, you know, you understand mm -hmm. me. So is it because more money coming in directly, they have to make sure they put themselves up front and center to start. Um... Do you, do you know that's the only thing? You understand? Okay. And the money, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, you know, before not much was in it, so nobody don't care. I don't even think them care. They must even care about the football itself. Because if you care about the football itself, you wouldn't do what you do. You understand? I don't think they even care about the football and the money. You, you understand? And the big ego they have and they go in with. Can me not see no sense in a way they do JD? And if a man can't make sense out of it, tell me. I don't think most people uh, make sense out of it. <laughs> All <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, good point. Good point, um, Tennessee. Good point. Great points, uh, you know. Yeah, so um, me just, me just want to hear anybody have any objection towards the, the wing play system and how it functions. 
because um, Owen Owen said the problem with um, what the, the coach is doing, we are easy to shut down without midfielders to play that system. Hopefully we get the better midfielders. Yes, that is true. But the problem is, you know, remember you have to have the pro and the cons, you know. So your best players them. So for instance, let me go to the 4-3-3. Um, we still we are gonna still remain with three midfielders that still does not do enough defensive and attacking jobs, right? So it still limits us to complete what we want to complete because we're gonna have three players that we have to expose forward, and now we have less players starting from a defensive position. So I think the coach is just trying to make sure. No, not not. This is how he plays naturally. This is one of his plays naturally. So let me not skip that one out. But I still believe that it helps him that Jamaica's um, best weapon is speed. You understand me? In the transition, it's actually speed. So it make, makes his mind up for him because it was his natural system regardless. All right? Rudolph's speed? I am not talking about Rudolph's speed or nobody. Um, big, big brother. What, are you, what are you talking about? Let me let me finish my statement, now, my brother. Let me look at me. Can you tell me what I'm about football? Can you tell me what I'm talking about football? Pastor, just Jenny, so. Jenny, 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 Jenny. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> no, I didn't say you were talking about Rudolf Speed. No, <laughs> no JD, JD. Can't see the way I say. Pastor, JD, want really want. Moving point, man. Make it, make him talk. Go on, go on, Jim. Me just, me just, me can't better pass, man. Pass, the pass. Take over the phone. I carry the show. Take over the show. Done. Because all me I try to say is, when, when, when we see the man, I do something. Remember, team responsibility to get the best out of the team. So we are trying to understand. So when we are pick our team now in the future, we can make sure we argue the points them in the right positions, like the players. Yes. Them. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That is what me I try to get to you. Know? Yeah, man. Me agree. But pass a run joke. You get me? Pass a joke out the thing. Yeah, man. Me can't bother with pastor, man. So, no, we should not be talking about... um, Because, look, all ironic, Daniel Johnson. Daniel Johnson is not the best box-to-box -box or deep-line players. But he still has the, the ability to do so, to play from a deep-line role. The difference is, Maggie not have the position, the, the ability to play nowhere else, aside from attacking midfielder and left midfield. So, let me work it out now. Right midfield. So, let me work it out now. He can't play, in, he's not better than the midfielders, them naturally. And he's not better than the central forward, them or the right midfielders, them because you have Bobby Reed and Leon Bailey as the right midfielders, them. So, based off that style, he can't get in the team none at all. And if they go with a three, he can't play in a three either because a three does not naturally bring attacking midfielders. They are still two box to box and a deep line defensive central majority of the time. Sometimes, like KDB, an attacking midfielder, left winger to an attacking midfielder, but he still grasps the knowledge of being a central midfielder as well. You get me? The, the, the Bernard, the Silvers, and those guys, they learned to play those positions over time. So the Maggie conversation, which, which is Jay Taylor directly, it, it just yeah. it's just nonsensical. Yeah, that Naga work out. Yes, yeah, Naga yeah. work. And it's gonna put yeah, him, yeah. Oh, you're gonna take out Whisper out of the team and put him there. Yeah, and he might just be a third backup for a left wing or a right wing position because he's not going to play centrally, people. All right. So I just wanted to make sure you know. And then next time I'm gonna ask the coach, and I promise you, he's gonna tell you the exact thing what I've told you. Yeah, JD, I think I think you're spot on about the Maggie thing because anytime his name comes up. My question to everyone is always, where in the coach's system does he play? Because if you don't think that he's a... Because we play 4-4-2, but most people, when we watch the game, it looks like 4-2-4 a lot of the time. So that means those wide midfielders are actually playing more like wide forwards anyway. So if, if you... Where will he play? That's my question. Because I, I don't... As you say, I don't think he has the ability to play the, one of the two, the deeper roles that, that the coach employs. And the only space I see for him, if, if he's going to be in the team, is one of the wide areas. And as you just pointed out, when, when you rank the players that play out there, I don't see where he's in this pecking order to even be in the squad. So I, I think people need to stop worrying so much about players and really focusing in on how the, the coach plays to make sense of his selections, right? 
I think the coach obviously is still trying to figure out who is his best two in there because of all the positions on the pitch, as well as probably right back, those have seen the most changes. So, um, you know, he still is trying to figure it out. And we've seen him go both ways. You know, he's had games where he's played Ravel and DJ. He's had games where he's played Joel and Kevin. He's had games where he's played Joel and DJ. So, you know, he's still trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. Um, Agreed. He, he's, he's struggling to, to figure out the best, the best solution. And I, and I, and I, it's funny because I've seen him play Mexico with two attacking-minded right. players, and I've seen him play Mexico with two defensive-minded players. Uh, so all right. I think he himself is trying to still figure out what's the best way to play these top teams, especially. But one thing, one thing we learned, Jason, he, it's wing play is his favorite style. Wing play is his so, style. JD? So he's well, trying well, to tweak the wing, wing play to get what he wants. Because he, he and, and remember when he just came in, uh, he said he's going to assess the type of players we have and then he's going to find a mixture in his system. So that's that stuck out with me because he said he wanted to come and learn the culture and figure out what we could do. And that's what stuck out to me and, and realized that this is when, when the next coach explained it to me, that's when I said, Oh, yeah, I think this is exactly what you're saying he's doing. Obviously, I believe that coach because that, that man is a top man. You understand me? So um, I believed him, but I, I've learned now and understood where uh, Mr. Algrims are coming from. And I won't beat him in when people are ball for a player. I will explain the, why I wouldn't see those players in the team. You understand me? Yes, that's what I, I, I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead. I and, don't know who was JD, JD, just on, the, just on the flip side to what you just said, as much as we can analyse and see his selections not being there and, and we can know certain players that aren't there, then that also lends itself to a lot of different players that if Wing plays the way he wants to go, how are they not being picked in every team that we pick? That's why, obviously, every coach have their favoritism. Right. So that's where it's going to come from. That's where our discussion will move on next. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So I am going to have this conversation. I'm not giving up because I heard that from a legend or their coach. No, I'm not going to just take that. I am still going to argue the, the persons now because now I'm going to go and start checking metrics like running metrics, pressing metrics as to what you want for your system. Remember, we are doing these things, you know, Jason, so we have to keep on digging uh, digging deeper. We are, not, we are not just YouTubers that's come here for YouTube. Oh, I want to advance that, in statistics and everything. So I, I keep last, learning, you know? Absolutely. That, that last comment was not a directive to you. That was mainly to the people listening. That, that is the next phase of our analysis. It needs to be, since we know we have honed in on the style he wants, we can use our football knowledge and, and eyes to say, okay, these players would fit the system that he wants the best. So, yeah, yes, no. I, I agree. Yeah, and I know yeah. that that's, what, that's, what, that's the next phase. We can stop arguing about certain players and just say, listen, yeah, yeah, this is the real. man's system. Who are the players that fit the system? And we can kind of debate those things. So, I think that is a good thing where now we can finally say, okay, this is the style of player the coach, you know, because some people were having trouble figuring it out. Um, so that's good that we have kind of got some closure to that now. So we don't have to guess about that anymore. And that will only <laughs> help us to analyze his, um, his, his selections when he makes them. Yeah. Yeah. And um, maybe, and let me clear up this part. Maybe we will start sound different from other vloggers. Which we have always sound different from other vloggers. But you yes. know, we will definitely, when people ball in for somebody, you will not hear us saying it. And it's not because we're fighting against anybody and we are pick up for the coach. It is just yeah. based off education that we have acquired. And we go into that department at all times. So hopefully people watch this, this video and understand. <coughs> all right? Yeah, and, and, and JD, without without getting the actual closure that is wing play, the, the reasons why Maggie wasn't in the team. I was laying them out as if I knew the system already. Yes, you know, that's I didn't what I know said. the name of the system. Well said, but, because we are looking. But we want yeah, No, you watch you watch the game and you analyze the game, right? Um guys. So that's why you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but we have to make sure the fans them understand the mm. why we take certain approach. You understand mm. me? Because sometimes I know about this space, and sometimes it's like if everybody now say the same thing, um, like a uniform. Um, no. you understand me, but I'm, I'm always leading towards education, that's why I've always been different. 
So I'm just making people know that this is how we're assessing it, you know. So anybody gets to the press conference, you ask him about the style of play. And then once he confirms it, you can move on with your assessment as to how you look at things as well. You understand? So, 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 so it's safe right. to say now that we have a style of play. Yes. Yes. Okay. Whether we like I, it or I agree, not. but I'm just asking that out loud. So, you know, people, a, a lot of the individuals that may not think so, them can, you know, start put it in their head, say, based off what we have seen consistently from the Gold Cup, we have a style of play. Yeah. Yes, we have a style of play, whether or not we like it, because the style of play does not always give us the advantage of dominating position inside the middle of the pitch. And that is the difference, you know, because you yeah, can still have position, yeah. you know. But wing play positions, you don't, mm -hmm. you never see a team dominating position and it look like a tiki taka out on the wide. It's always coming from in the middle of the pitch. So people have to understand yeah. that as well. So sometimes it's just your mind, you know, because they can still have more position, you know. But because yeah. the speed transition outside, it does not translate the same way as Barcelona, Tiki Taka, 50 shades. Exactly, 50 as, shades as Man City. You understand me? It's team, not the same. Yeah. It, it don't look the same. But it is, mm -hmm. it is faster. Some form of it. It is faster, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and we're not okay. going to... We're not going to be as fluid as what we expect through the middle because that's the reason why you're getting deep line box to box midfielders and defensive midfielder because you want to be as rigid as possible. That's why I told people yeah. to watch the Nigeria game and you see what NDD do does and you see what, um, what his name again from Arsenal. I always, um, forget his name, Jason, remember my name. Um, then it will be, is he does defensive works, you know. But you always see them, 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 them do the twist cross. And indeed, he is the preferred man to make the defensive action. And the attacking action is always favorable to Iwobi. You understand me? And then they link the play off that. So we want a, we, we are looking for an indeed type of player. We can still use the Daniel Johnson for the secondary shift. But we just want a next player that has the capability to go forward and also be a main defensive um, personnel with a Daniel Johnson as old replica of um, Uwobi and stuff. Maybe that's the value of T. Roy Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some other serious question, though, right? Not to, I'm not switching the topics, but based off the players that we've played so far. Who do we see as the two best players that would fit the role so far? So far. Because we know so we have other players who are probably not calling yet well that we may think would fit that role. But so far. But, but who we are looking for, period, is two midfield central midfielder, right? So who we see can fit those roles? Um Kira Anderson would be the the, the, the the starting block of the player them that we're looking for. People that can go forward and also start, stay in their position if that's the role. Chuck, because you have different functions yeah. as a deep line midfielder as well. And which we are going to get into that in a different mm -hmm. um, a video. Yeah. So Kira Anderson would have been that type of player. Um, let me tell you, what a boy named Manuel was at Chelsea. Um, the one that Newcastle, Newcastle guy, and the one that at Chelsea would be the two perfect fit. Lu Lewis, Lewis is his name. The two starter that I Rico would have Lewis. put in it uh, would have been my boy from um, Newcastle, um, Isaac Hayden, Isaac Hayden, and um, Lewis. Those would be my two first. And uh, Lewis, what? Um, Jenny, Lewis Baker. Baker. Lewis Baker. Lewis Baker. Lewis Baker and Isaac Aiden. Those those would have been the two uh. pairing to start with. And then you could you, you could interchange them now. You could bring in a Daniel Johnson or Casey Power to play deeper with them or push them forward. If you said see yeah, JD, in, in this hmm? system I would I, in this system I wouldn't mind seeing Palmer in one of the wide roles, you know. Yes, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying, Jason. If we if we, we see so we fix it now, then remember remember these are hybrid players, you know. Daniel Johnson and Casey Palmer can play in those roles, in those packets, with one of these main deep, deep, defensive midfielders. So if that's fixed, you can play them on the left or on the right or on, in the central forward position. You get me? So it's an unlock, but the two persons that I would look for would have been the Isaac Aiden. Isaac Aiden would have been one of the main players then. The main one that I would want would have been Isaac Aiden to put in it. 
And he hope he could stay fit because he would have been the NDD type of player that I would be looking for. And then now the Kira Anderson would be a backup to um, the Lewis Baker then. And if we don't have Lewis Baker, we we'll start Kira Anderson and Isaac Hayden. And I think we would have gotten a much, our pool would have expanded in the, uh, the forward areas, as what Jason just said. Um, and also, we could know exactly what we need to look for in the midfield to add to it, you know? No, we can't get Drew mm -hmm. Bellingham. We have to talk about what is realistic. Who can play for Jamaica? Um, people, sure. smash the like button, share, and subscribe, people. All right? Get, get me over. Um, I don't know if we pass 100 as yet. Um, but let me into 150. 150 is a target because we're not going to pass a certain time. Let me tell you exactly what we have. We have, what, um, 37 minutes left. 37 minutes. So let me, yeah. Um, so, um, Pastor, you were saying something. Go ahead. And Rob, if you want to put Ravel in it, anybody you want to put in it. No, we understand. Oh, he's selecting his, his team. We can work off that now. But So, it eradicates certain players. Because I'm telling you the honest truth. I've listened to JTL again last night. I'm um, saying that Maggie, Maggie, Maggie needs to come in to, to get a tryout and stuff. It comes back down. Why the coach will just fling on players on the field? When he knows that he can't play the system. So, well, Maggie have to come in and play left midfield or right midfield. Or central forward or striker. You understand me? Just let go of players, man. It, and in the same sense, JT... For real, man, it becomes he, a nine. He, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't hold on to players, but yet still it keep on mentioning the player 64 times. It no matter how much facts you get, you still come back with the player again. Like, you just want to prove a point to say oh, you start this train of Maggie. Brother... It's one train you're going to lose, man. May I tell you? All right? <laughs> it's one train you're going to lose, man, brother. You get me? It always come down to what the coach. And we have to be careful and mindful that we put the coaches under unnecessary pressure when they have their system. Let their handlers decide that they don't like this ugly style of football. Let we change it. Let we, let we be the persons to pick in, in their system to make their system better. But not want to change everything because Maggie ain't better than Leon Bailey. Maggie ain't better than Daniel Johnson. Maggie ain't better than um, Gray. Maggie ain't better than um, um, Bobby Reed. Maggie ain't better than Shamar. So why would we not need to put in Maggie in a team when we actually have five ballers that we can get the best out of? It's who you want to get the best out of, you know. You get me? If you can get four players, the best out of four players, um, um, Jason, you're going to try to get the best out of one that would have sacrificed the same four because you're going to sacrifice the same four to put that player in. And and at the end, you're, you might not start that player. So how much sense that actually makes? I am pretty much confused. I don't know. Um, um, Jero said 4-2-3-1 is the ideal for our players just to do that. But you still have to have a system. Um. You still have to have a system. You still have to have a system. Um, even when you're 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 playing. Um, four, two, three, one, um, Juras. You mean um J um Jeros. Um, you still have to have a system just the same. All right. All right. Um Jogstar said this man a madman. All right, explain um to that. Um at JD, let's just go through a quick list of midfielders, um, see where Maggie ranks. All right, let me go through the midfielders. Let me go through the midfielders that we have um, at this point. And remember, left and right midfielders, natural left and right midfielders are considered as midfielders. Left and right wingers are forwards. All right, so it's different positions. Um, defensive central is midf uh, midfielders, just the same. So we have Kevin Lambert as a midfielder, Jordan Cousins, um, Dr. Glass um, as three um, on our list now, Kira Anderson. Added Kira and this added Ravel Morrison, Daniel Johnson, Casey Palmer, John Russell, John Russell, and uh, who else we missing as one more? Um, oh, Lord, Bobby Lambert, Lambert. yes, yeah, Lambert, yeah, yeah, we said Lambert, Lambert. Lambert, Lambert already, Lambert. and and naturally, we don't have any left and right midfielders, so let me and that, that's exactly Bobby would have considered as an attacking midfielder. So, Barry would have considered as a, as a midfielder as well. So, those are the midfielders. And those are the midfielders that we do have. Um, s -Technic says, Jamaica, ha as always, deep in wingers, not CDM players, are real box-to-box -box midfielders. Well, we have to just look at now because, remember, it's not now 
we are producing talent. We have to just pick from what we have in England, you know? And then, uh, and then Phillips, sorry about that, Phillips. Phillips, Joshua and Anglin um, added to the pool. And then we have my boy there coming from Leicester, that little kid, um, Leicester, the Leicester guy. We have Hutchinson, that played for us, Brandon, Brandon Cover, Hutchinson, and um, Splat as well added to it. And I'm honestly telling you, maybe aside from Phillips, which I, I don't even think Maggie is better than Phillips. I honestly believe that. I don't think Maggie is better than Phillips in what the coach wants. I am very sorry. Yeah, I agree, better, I agree with you. I agree with you. A better game than a lot this. of other players were hype up. I saw Phillips yeah, play in the, in, in, the, in the actual two games before the World Cup. Phillips played a better game than major. The man is an engine. Yes. yes. Phillips, I am saying it now. Phillips is actually a better team player to the coaching system than Maggie. So I have no problem with the man pick Phillips over Maggie because I have to look at the metrics, people. You get me? I have to look at the metrics. All right? I am not going to even bring up Maggie's stats because I, 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 it's a fantasy we're going in. You get me? We just want to beat the coach on something which I'm not going to jump on. Phillips, I'm putting Phillips in my team as a coach. I'm putting Phillips in my team every day over Maggie, every single day. You get me? I don't know what's up with these Manning Cup, Manning Cup I, stars. It's that like once they are Manning Cup stars, everything is done. Jug star says what? Yes, I have said that. And I can prove everything to show you why Phillips is a better player than Maggie. Everything to show you. So Jug star, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn. Today. JD, you see, you see our know, culture. Will look... reality to be you're going to go ahead. We know our culture... Our culture looks on flair, style, and all of them. Some of them don't look at, at hard work, at you know how much miles you are on a game. All of them, some of them, they don't look at those stuff. How well you fit into the system, how well you can process the system mentally. It's just a style thing and, you know, a trick thing. That's how we look at football, our culture. So, yeah. Um, Jugstar, I will become a coach before you and a certified high-level coach before you. And I know I'm going to do better than majority of the coaches them in Jamaica. I am almost sure, certain of that because I'm going to pick the right players them. And we're going to start with metrics, just like what the real world use. So I, you, you say your name is a drug star, so I don't know why am I arguing with you. Maybe you look like you're taking some of your own drugs <laughs> and become a, becoming a star on your own drugs. You understand me? Yes. I am not here to be, be, make, make friends. All right. Everybody said Phillips is a headless chicken. He's a headless chicken. No problem. You know what he could do? He could track down a player and stop them. Maggie can't track down a soul and stop a soul. All right? Yes, and I don't want to lead into disrespecting the player. You get me? But some of the time, on the over the top, I on cannot understand. Even when the truth is right in front of the face. All right? People, let me, let, me, let me make this straight. Four years ago, majority of these people in this YouTube space never wanted a foreign man to play for Jamaica. Let me make you know that straight. Go back to them video three years ago. These are ways that they always spin to try to keep local players in the team. I was always going for the best damn player. And I'm talking about two Jamaican players, period. Now it's switched now because it's beneficial because people want super chat and people want jobs. So it's easy to pick up for the foreign players, them, which was actually the best players them from day one. But people use number. Remember we had 16 plus 7, 18 plus 25. Um, we have to put some Jamaican players in some Jamaican band players. These were the natural thing. So I know you guys not looking at no football in metric. We don't want to pick nobody. We don't want to pick any friends. And that's our stop Jamaica from 1998 because we continuously feel like we need to put our friends in the team. So why I a coach and give him the free license to pick him, him team, Juras? Because he's not going to do what they want because they know nothing about the football. So he's not going mm -hmm. to ever do what they want. He's going to pick the best players. Exactly. Obviously, he's going to have his favoritism in it, which I'm going to call him out. You understand me? But he's going to always pick the best players them with the metric that he has that you don't, uh, you're not privy to. And sometimes it's, you, you have it right there and you just don't want to go for it. You just don't want to pull it up to see the truth, why the guy is do doing that. Because your favorite guy ain't doing that. And that is just the truth. All right? Um, blessings to Dexter Lembekisa. All right, Kyle. All right, Phillips is not a better player than Maggie. Phillips is just uh, a better player in the coach's system. But Jay Shai, Jay Shai, what did I say exactly, Jay Shai? Because clearly the next guy that's arguing with me never heard what I said, you know. 
him just hear me say, Phillips are got in at the team over Maggie, and him, him just lose him head. He may, him not hear, him, him need to pull up the video and hear exactly what I've said. <laughs> I'm mean, telling you, that space has something else. That space has something else. And, and you have to tell him, you have to tell him, pull back the damn video and hear what I just said. And then you, you have to come out for your drugs, them, where you actually are selling yourself. Because <laughs> nobody now buy it from you. You get me? You need no, to them... listen well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, um, Juras. I know you don't like these things, but sometimes you have to smoke some of these commenters because no they, man, you're good man. Things. Um, them <laughs> approve my, my point, them approve what I just said. The mm -hmm. style I play, our culture, like they're proving it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, all right. So, um, Rich Dry says, um, um, some people are, are so in love with our schoolboy football and believe. It's the same as um, international football. Not um, every schoolboy is able to transition um, to the senior ranks. That is just flat out. That is just flat out. All right? Flat out. Um, Phillips don't win the ball through. He needs to play um, at a higher level. And um, Mr. United says, true skip. But remember, you know, we are talking... Look, when we brought down something, we are talking Maggie or Phillips. Which one of them have the possibility? It changes no, you know. You never said Maggie, you never said Phillips or, or, or Anderson. You never said, you, you understand me, um, 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 Juras? You saw, you saw them last in a reasoning? Because I'd never said, yeah, yeah. Um, if I come out and I pick everybody, I'm going to pick Phillips. I said in the coach's system, Maggie over Phillips. I could see why better. he would always pick Phillips. That's all. Fit, I did. Yeah, Phillips fits better. Yeah. That's all I've said. So I'm not comparing. And he even went as else. further as saying that you don't want to compare any baller. He even <laughs> said that as well. Wow. People have to learn how to listen. Wow. Wow. The war. Yes, I'm Duckland, man. We have a war, man, because. The man in Makiro, Makiro, good of a, a stream, I'm having. Um, the man him turn it into a war, you know? Yes. And JD, all of these no good players, um, they call in for, will get a game in the friendly. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, Tyreek Maggie is way more creative than Phillips. But Drugstar, um, nobody in the world believes that he's more creative than Leon Bailey, Damari Gray, or Bobby Reed. So nobody will pick him over those players because they missed the whole conversation. That's what we said we wanted because that's the system requires. So either he's not going to play over Phillips, he's going to play over those guys. So drug star, um, after you don't sell the drugs, um, just go back and check if you think that he's going to start over those players because that is the conversation you should be having or one of the central forward positions then. Because of what he, he does possess. Um, JD, they can argue until dying kingdom come. If the Maggie doesn't fit, he'll not be called. Sorry, people. Stop. Uh, yes. Let me see. Let, let me see the coach put him in a, um, a forward position. Give him every chance he, you want. Give him every chance. Coaches need players who are going to press. So Maggie gonna watch the national national team from TV like I do. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, Jason, oh, you don't get involved in this thing. Um, no man, faster, when, when, only get involved have, in this thing. <laughs> when you have, when you and the when you and the chat start doing them back and forth, you know, a good panel is just easy and listen. No, you can bring some, you can bring some some calmness to it because me a war, I'm a hard I go. I know, no, say, well, well J J J they were going to be dead by incense, you know. I'm, I'm yeah. seeing people, people, that, I'm seeing people. people in the house, please do it. The light button, we have 30 more minutes, we have 20 more minutes left. Yes, pastor, we have 24 more minutes left. So, you have four, okay, then you come back with the 20. You're not getting the okay, and give me more. <laughs> <laughs> there are some, there are some battles I told you the other day that I'm not going to even participate in a conversation read the whisper sele uh, selection outside of him being somebody that the coach decides to select because there is nothing else that merits a conversation on that the coach has the job he selects whoever he wishes to select despite what he wants to achieve so outside of that man i have no conversation with it it's the same thing with a mcgee 
So that's why I didn't chime in any at all. If McGee is so good, in four years in Belgium, the man don't play 90 minutes of football. And oh. to be honest, in, in USL, um, even though Jason said, oh, I've lately started to get game, I have went and checked myself. And um, people go and check yourself and then you can decide. All right? <laughs> so, <laughs> he's going to say he's going to be the savior of the na a national team and even international break when others left, which is um, um, oh, one of our players that came in. He still does not get, he's not the first choice. He's not one of the main players. So these are inconsequential, you know. These are inconsequential conversations. I, I don't, I don't. I'm very energetic, but I do not waste time. No, all right. Time is money. So that's not a conversation I'm going in. For everybody that is talking about leaders in position, anytime you are given a job, and I'm going to use myself as reference as a pastor. If I have to stand in the congregation and say, I am the pastor, I have failed. Here it is, though. Here it is, though. David Scott says, JD, do you have something against Manning Cup and players who attended traditional schools? Don't answer. Don't answer. You can't, and you, there's no right answer for that. Well, because kidding. what bearing does that have, <laughs> Jenny? You see, you see why I said <laughs> some conversations, and Jason, you can chime in on this. Oh, God. Some conversations are inconsequential. You know, there's no right answer for that for that thing, you know, because that not have no bearing on the conversation that that that, 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 that ensued. It's just not there. Yeah. And people, yeah. we need to be we need to be matured enough to realize that truth don't need no help. If you say it in a striking patois, if you say it in a Dutch, if you say it in a Portuguese, if you say it in a French, Spanish, it's still the truth. You don't need no assistance. All right, all right. What what will happen? You see, from today, you see after after today. It doesn't matter what stream. I have streams that I normally come and try to in and support. But after this day, I will never go back on the next stream. Physically, I will never do it again. And I will, I will never do a stream. I will never comment on the next stream. And I will never go back on the next stream. I'm going to only do my channel when it relates to Jamaica. All right? Only. The o I'm, I'm, I will never go back on the next stream ever again as long as i'm in this jamaica space i will not do any stream with anybody and i because you see maybe certain things that i had the respect that i had before maybe because through I, I let me not say anymore i will not go and know on a stream so don't expect me anywhere and you will never see me comment anywhere else. more than i will just do my assessing on players and just give information out that's the only thing um that's the only thing i'm gonna do in jamaica space uh, 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 from this point i think um yeah i think that's that's it that's enough for me you know yeah no worry people may bring you out of retirement i said i'm not going on i'm not going on no stream aside from this stream that i have here so anywhere you want to see me talking about jamaica football is right here nowhere else on planet earth all right we're done so wait, wait if jason if jason got start a theme on uh, stream i'm so we'll say, go say, say, say already i've been asking up more <laughs> So Jason go start when we start. I'm alone I go over there and whoever I send over there. But me now go over there. No, I say yes alone can't agree with that, because I now have some no more con conversation. Aside, you can realize no, eh? you see the madness them where them people have put in the space. Them people like to eat up the madness. Yeah, and me now go have me, me, me be the, 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 the hey. conversation killer. Just watch. Co controversy. People love it, man. Um, yeah. Anything that's controversial, what? that's what people like. Yeah, man. Uh, ahead, this, is, this is who? This is who? Issa? Who, no, who, man, Drew who? Ross. Okay, Drew Ross. Listen. Yes, sir. Controversy is borderline insanity. Pastor, if you're I just... agreeing with it, you know. 
just to say no, 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 I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. I, I didn't think that was your position. I didn't think that was your position. Okay, okay. But I'm saying controversy is borderline insanity, and how you determine if it's insanity is by checking the motive. You cannot just be controversial for the sake of the controversy. If you're being controversial for objectivity, then you're on the correct side of the, the, same the line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're in the same train. But if you are just going to be objecting, 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 because you can object. I would use a Jamaican term a while ago, but um, I'm, I'm not going to add to the, the fume steaming off JD, the top of JD's head. So I won't use the Jamaican term. I will stay under the guidance of my English teachers. I have to celebrate them. They were good English teachers. Jesus, God. Pass them teacher. My yeah, Lord. I've just... Huh? I, I, JD, JD, don't do... That's not a conversation for, 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 for right now. Let's, let's, let's deal with what we were processing. Yeah, but well, I think we have done, you know, anytime, anytime we're done, or, or, or the facts, them then the, the war start, you know, but it's okay. Um, as I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to comment. So anybody that's trying to let me support, naturally, you know, see me back. Coming on a time, Pete, you know why? Because me take my time out, and I realize uh, it draw me into certain things. Um, it's okay, nobody now bullying me, but just me not bully me. And it goes me a certain conversation, and I me just do what me I do for Jamaica. Um, channel, but yeah. let's do it and move on because I have other channels where we can talk real level football where people actually watch every game, watch and break down football. So, I got shut down that part of me supporting other people and going to people stream and stuff. There, I now do it because I can take that time for the actually improve my brand. You get me? Yeah, yeah because yeah, there might be something yeah, I'm saying I talk about when I know no make no sense. You understand? I don't need to prove one falls up. Because majority of these things and in this space is a bunch of falls up. Because if it, if it comes down, it's going to be majority of the money my England are play for the next 10 years. Because they are significantly better than majority of local players. Then make your own want to say it, own want to spin it. So I'm not going to tired for selling the falls up. I can't, can't stand the war and the madness for too long, man. You know? Yeah, man. You see Damar Gray come? Damar Gray. And the Jamaica pick him for be the best player. One of the best players in the Kanga Kaf, Kanga Kaf pick him, you know. And I still hear people come sometimes to us and I talk about yeah. if he never scored a goal, he wouldn't, wouldn't hype him up so much. The man him bad mind, you know, man. The man him eating on them t shirt, you know, and on them jeans, you know. <laughs> them so bad. People go back four years and watch some of them. Um, uh, some of them listen, just go back four years and listen to some of them vloggers, yeah. And some of them people come up on YouTube. Them usually fight for say them more than 16 and 4 and 10 people in the squad. A true they, them figure out the foreign people give them money. Why them change them out now? And willing to talk about foreign players. They don't need to go back four years. They don't need to go back four years. I talk about foreign players for being 19 because they're better because me and me are the football. So I spin them and I spin the narrative because they believe in the local madness from the day one. You understand? I can't bother with no more, man. Them go, believe me. Make two more. Make two more local guys go overseas. And you hear them start jumping them back, back them local wagon. No care which vlog you talk about. One of them. You do the same thing. All right? So now tell me the foolishness, people. Them man in a 2-2-1, them man in a team. Because I hear them man in a try denounce what Damar Gray do. And it's just because of pure hatred. Come on, man. If you don't like the man, the man, you don't support Jamaica reggae boys, man. Because Jamaica reggae boys are for all of Jamaica, you know. Not to know one people, man. Um, JD, I leave JA 35 years young. Most of them biased and corrupt. No, no, JKK, I know. I know. I know that. And that's why me, me never really get on with much people because me just stick to the facts. And from the facts, say that me done. Me no need to. I walk behind people and I tell her, oh, every time this and that are 60 more chance you need, you get enough chance where you deserve. You got to create back your chance and do your thing and come back. You see, man, come from the USL and do them thing. You understand me? The coach qualified for a World Cup already, make it stay there. So if he might do foolishness, we'll fire him and we'll move on. You get me? Stop trying forcing these bang average people in a, in a football, man. You see, football, I got to education right now. And the highest level education always turn out the best. 
So, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and when we incorporate these yeah, yeah, people, no man, uh, and when you incorporate the, the individuals that they want, and we don't make it, and we're not qualified for nothing, and we can't even make it to the semi final stage of the Gold Cup, then they're going to argue. Then it's going to be a different thing added to that. So, I pay them no mind, Bridging. Um, sometimes, yo, sometimes, whoosh, you could have just put all of the Jamaican barn in the field. Today in a two-day football and put them against Mexico and the United States. Sometimes I wish, you know. I sure you never know, you know, Thomas, some of them people are going there. Come here, tell us how you get some reality check, you see, man. When me I listen to some of them, them lunatic here talk about football. I say, okay, now that's how we can't reach our man. Can't listen to them either, man. But it's, it's sad still, people. But um, as I'm saying, I always want the best. I mean, now I go stop. A four years, I'm a, a, a champion. For people coming at the team, and that bring me here, the overseas players, them, and that bring me here. So from a come here, me never have no other side more than the best damn players, them, and the them, the best damn players, them was always them and the overseas. So what if you don't, if you they are local and you know like me, me not have no problem because you never listen to me good. But the best damn players, them, are the overseas players, them. So if a billion of them become on the field, me not care what man. Once you people start talking about you have to have some balance. Balance what? You but, think I hear what I'm saying now, but you're not being biased because we just had a whole like a segment a while ago stating that um when name Phillips fits into the squad. Isn't Phillips a local player at the moment? Yeah, no, you're, 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 you're not it's not that you're being unfair, you have be balanced. You, you see what I'm saying? So you can't please people, Bridget. I always tell you say. And past, I said the same thing. But you can't. Some of them people, they might just troll bridging, and yeah, that's man. why me laugh. That's why I laugh so much because me take them for a joke. And and when people talk about certain things and them no don't have the knowledge, me really laugh. Me not laugh with the mean them. Me just yeah, laughing yeah. in my head because me I say, you know what? You can't see say them not have the knowledge, bridging. Yeah, man. And yeah, give them the information. Them don't want you, it. Them <laughs> them take it. Them take it if them want, and them don't take it if them. You get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You can't, you can't make them drink the water as them are. Yeah, no, we're not. It's up the to water, them. But me, I tell them what me know. Are the truth? So mm -hmm. they're gonna wait till the next ten years. So don't play no football till the next ten years. Cause we're not gonna get but, twenty and thirty but, love. If we put all of them in the team, that me care what you want. That reality that. So go, go, call, call all of them. Call all the great minds them. I'm, I even Leon Bailey and Shamar them from the field. Pick all the local players and see what I'm doing. All right? Yeah, man. Uh, Real said Jason? Them, no, me, me just said I said most of them don't want water. They want cocoa juice. <laughs> 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 so, exactly, um, the real people meet the like button. Um, me not worry with Jugstar because I don't know how me if you worry with a name named Jugstar. Well, you said Jugstar in the man there. Yeah. And you have some, <laughs> like you have some weird ass name, you see, man? <laughs> um, Jason said the dark age might be coming back. Yeah, yeah. And people, yes, I heard the next man we are running for, 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 they went again. And he, he's saying everything that I'm, I am, I'm fighting against. So clearly, um, the the dark age might be coming back for real, so we, we we might not be far from seeing exactly what all of you guys claim to sound a great wants, and I will be here to watch reality. Yes, me rather, me <laughs> rather stick with the evil. Me <laughs> rather stick with the evil. We know right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, Can't well, go back this people, people that, that's like that's like. Us. People yeah. supporting him through us. So all of the big JPL. Why them support. can't just get it together, bro? <laughs> like <laughs> them all, all them something with the girl, you know. All them something here with the girl where they, this recent thing now bode well in them favor, you know. And them not see that, you know, bro. Why them, them can't just get it together? You yeah, give them money more ammunition. Like, come on, man. Remember, remember, you know, remember, remember the next man he said, you know, he said been playing you now. Him, 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 soul repurpose. When he say he want, you know, he want to have a Jamaican team with only Jamaican band players tonight. When me hear the man say that the day, and him say him they bring in the rules say I have Jamaican player on the, the man team as well. And me say okay, so you start this thirty plus twenty fifteen, and you're glad to say you are said. Yeah, him said him something alive. So people just check YouTube channel them. Most of the channel them where you see him pan. Just listen to what I'm saying. That's crazy, and tell bro. So, them man and have, them man and them man and not here. Them a care a one with them seat, and them will never see it the next week. 
We, JD. We pasta, pasta. Pasta, we have two more, four more minutes there. Four more minutes. Pasta, for the four minutes there, I beg you to take off the microphone after you next. <laughs> Yo, Pastor, every time you say something, I have to turn down my phone, you know. And then when JD or Jason talk, I have to turn it back up. <laughs> okay, so it's 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 taken off. Um, again, JD. People getting it. People learning is not in the psychic or vocabulary or competence of some of these persons in the chat or in the JFF. It's not going to happen. So you have to realize certain things and just even because you're being you're running a program and you want to be respectful. You read you read them comments so people know that these Psychotic cases still exist, but don't comment on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I am not going to do. I'm not going to do what um, J, J, Drew Ross just said and laugh about it, even to myself. It's not funny, and I'm not going to play no devil's advocate nor stick to no evil women. No, the only thing necessary for evil to flourish. Is that good men, good women stand by and do nothing about it? This fight must continue. And JD, when your pressure go up, try get some sour sap leaf and some molasses, <laughs> and get relaxed and have your wife give you a little head and shoulder massage. I am, but I'm just, I am, done for the I am finishing. I am finishing. Don't, don't, don't cut. I am finishing. I am finishing. The Edmunds wants to stop in 15 seconds. You want to fight me for the 15 seconds your time, Pasa? I saw it ago now. You don't need to fight with me now. Remember that I have a license to bury dead people. I am not the person you fight with. I am not like the. No, no, you have it. All right, people. <laughs> I, I have completely given up. Pasta is exactly like Yatarak. Exactly like that, right? That's that is not true. Yes, maybe so. No, but not that agree. Ketara come a bridging, but Ketara, Ketara, nah, make it talk, bro. All right, gonna so, like Ketara, uh, JD. All right, it so may have a little resemblance, like uh, maybe a little like thing there, just the low, not far from Ketara. No, man, I'm far from it. I'm not gonna, okay. No, Pasta, pa, you can't cope with Kat, Ketara. Me made hurt me sometimes. He, yes, he made my hurt hurt me as well, <laughs> Juras. Yeah, that's why he's not here. That's why he's not here. He wants to be here, but he's not coming here back. Yes. <laughs> but they have some similarities, uh, um, in Juras, regardless of what you want to say to me. Yes, our name is spelled the same way. Our name is spelled the same way. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they hear the select of Bonnie Hood soon. Yeah. So, anyways, people, I'm sorry if I came off wrong. Um, as what Panama yes. says, Be but I knew that I never came out wrong, you know. Yeah, but um, I will say sorry to the people um, that I don't even know what I'm saying sorry for. But sorry for the the commenters that were that, that was actually listening to the show and believe that um, I went off the boils. Yes, I'm not going to make drug stars and those guys, David Scott, get on them, get on my nerves. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, troll them. I them have man. to run. I have to run because I only have four more minutes to pick my kid up. And stuff. Right, bless so, you. um, tomorrow we will return because tomorrow we'll get more information and I bring it back for you, the normal Jamaican one, and then I will have um um international contents as well. Yes, and I have to work with Africans as well. Yes, so um, thanks yet again, Juras, Pastor, yeah, man, and bless you. Jason. Bless you, Pastor. Bless you, Jason. Can take Fifty seconds. Uh, fifty seconds to drum it up. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll right, never say. Go ahead, Jason. Go on, Drew. Go on, Drew. Go on. Go on. Yo, respect, JD. As I say, your platform and my type of platform, the breakdown, the analysis, all of them, some of them, I appreciate it, Bridget. Don't take them, brother, serious. 
And, you know, we appreciate everybody will come on and think for build, help build the platform bridging. A lot of countries, a lot of countries don't have a platform like this. I want to say countries, maybe small Caribbean countries, don't have different platforms that them can go to and break down the game, right? So we appreciate it. That's all I'm going to say. Bless up. All right, bossy. Um, so, people, Jason, take care of yourself, Pastor. Do what you want to do. I want one of, one of the beer them thump you down out of your house. All right, because people he has. <laughs> let, let me down, let me down the stream because he's gonna start three more minutes. No, I know that you live in your brand, Zeke. I know, man. Let me down there. Later, people. Take yeah, care. Yeah, big up, big up, big up. <laughs>